Welcome back to the channel guys. It is me 8744. So today guys we predicted with you guys the Asian Cup 2023 slash 24. So I want to know your guys predictions in the comments below. I will leave a link in the description below for this and um, stick around towards the end of the video. I'll be doing some channel announcements in regards to how to do the content for this. So there will be time in the description below for you guys. Let's go ahead and get started with the first game which we have here is Qatar versus Lebanon. This one, guys, Qatar have to win. Qatar have to win this one after a disastrous tournament in the World Cup, guys. They have to win this one. And I just think for Qatar in particular, man, will the players like Akram Afif step up? al Ali step up? As for Lebanon, I'm not really convinced with this team. I think this team has been really underwhelming. Um, that being said, there is one standout guy. His name is Arktot. He is their best player. He has got, like I think, seven goals as a time recording this video. So I do think Lebanon could do something in this game. I'm going to still say Qatar wins this one, though. I think it'll be a nervy one, though. I think Qatar will win this one 2-1. I think Qatar will win this one 2-1. I don't know why, for some reason, the game doesn't... The side doesn't allow you to predict score, so I'm, I don't know why, for some reason, so... Yeah. Well, we can all use a booster. Okay. Interesting, interesting. And we can change our mind. Can we change our mind? Oh, we can edit. We can edit, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, we, we can edit if we want. Okay. I haven't used this site before, that's why... I'm new to this. Next up is Australia versus India. Uh, for this one, guys, Australia have been in amazing form. I thought they were in the, one of the most impressive teams at this last year's World Cup. Um, I sorry, uh, two years ago's World Cup. Um, and I just think for Australia, they were amazing. You know, players like Aaron Moy, uh, Matthew Ryan, um, Abiel, and these kind of players, they were really good uh, for Australia in that tournament. And the, the, even though they don't have like the name big name players they used to have, they're a very gritty team. They know how to get it done, and they have a lot of passion and determination. India, on the other hand, have come in, are coming into this Asian Cup with very little preparation. A lot of the star players aren't available for this, and the fact that ISL is going on, meaning that because ISL is going on, a lot of their best players can't even play for the national team, which is just absolutely disgraceful in itself. India, that is disgraceful, the India FA. Needless to say, though, I think Australia would win this game. Even India, if India picked those players, I think Australia would have way too much quality for India. And I think Australia will win this one. I'm going to say 3 0 Australia to this one. Next up is China versus Tajikistan. Now, this is a good matchup. I think China, Tajikistan could get an upset here because they have been playing good and they are coming into this one as underdogs. You know, China, as we know, have been kind of regressing the last couple of years. They haven't really been at that top level as we expect them to be. And even though China have had some good Asian Cups here and there, I think the last edition they did pretty well. I still think, though, Tajikistan can do something. That being said, though, I think as bad as China are and as underwhelming they are, they have one big-name player, Wu Li, and I think that guy itself could make a huge difference maker. Whereas Tajikistan, I don't really think they have anyone on Wu Li's level. So I'm going to go with China to win this one. I'm going to say they win this one 1-0. I think it will be a very close game. Next up, it is Uzbekistan versus Syria. Uzbekistan are amazing. Even without that striker Shomov, he's one of their best players. I still think Uzbekistan's attack is still firepower, and they still have a very good team. Syria, for me, have been really underwhelming. They're very their squad is very old, and I think one of their best players didn't get called up for this tournament, and he actually called his retirement. I think it's Omar Al As Al Sama. I think that's his name. Um, when I do the editing, you guys will see it hopefully. And yeah, I think for um, Uzbekistan, they just have way too much quality. Syria, for me, they haven't really been the same ever since that 2018, and I think Syria will lose this one. I think Uzbekistan will win this one too now. Next up, it is Japan versus Vietnam. Japan, man. They've been one of the best informed nations in Asia. And you can even make an argument in the world because of how insane they have been. Like, you look at the last couple of games. They've scored like at least two goals in the last couple of games. And they have played against the top weights, top hitters, um, you know. And so I think Japan have way too much quality. Um, they did not call up some players like Akamada didn't get called up. And I think Matoma will not be playing. So that's huge. And even with those players still out, they still have Uda, Uda that's still there. You still have Yoshida. You still have Tomiyasu. You still have a lot of firepower. I mean, Amino, I still think is there. Um, you know, Kubo as well. Like, Japan have way too much quality for Vietnam. Vietnam, for me, is a good nation. I like this nation. But for me, their defense is not, their attack isn't good enough. And I think Japan will keep a clean sheet. I think Japan's going to win this 2 0 against Vietnam. UAE versus Hong Kong. UAE, man. Um, let's see how they could do under Paulo Bento. I think Paulo, I think UE have got the good manager now. Obviously, he was a former South Korea manager that took South Korea to the round of 16 in the last World Cup. And Hong Kong, are, um, you know, they haven't been in the Asian Cup for a long time. So I think UE have way too much quality. 
Um, and obviously, Alec Mahmoud is just an insane goal scorer. I think this guy just single-handedly could just win this game for UE. But yeah, UE should win this game, to be honest. I'm going to say they win this one 3-0 against Hong Kong. Hong Kong, for me, is probably one of the worst nations in this tournament. Next up, it is Iran versus uh, Palestine. This is an interesting one. Iran, obviously, have been amazing. They have been great. Um, and I think Iran, for me, they, they, they have good, been good. You know, the likes of Taremi has been good. Asmoon, Godos has been incredible. I just think for Iran, though, in particular, um, I just think that for me, Palestine, for me, just don't have enough quality. They just don't have enough quality and enough players to compete. And I think Iran just have way too much. I think Iran's going to blow out Palestine. I think Iran's going to win this 3-0 against Palestine. I hope Palestine can get maybe a draw or a win. That would make the group interesting. But, yeah, let's be real. It's probably not going to happen. Next up is South Korea versus Bahrain. South Korea, man, I mean, this squad is amazing. You have the likes of... Um, you have Jurgen Klinsmann as a coach, the U former USA manager, who I thought did good for the United States. Then you obviously have Son, who's there, one of their best players, Wang Chan, Kim Min Jae. Um, the team is unbelievable. And Bahrain for me, I don't really, I think Bahrain for me is way too defensive. It's way too defensive for me. And I just think South Korea is way too much closer. South Korea should win. I'm going to say South Korea wins. I'm going to say 2-0. 2-0 against Bahrain. Next up, it is... Um, we got here it is indonesia versus iraq indonesia for me i've have not really impressed their friendlies coming into this tournament have been terrible they haven't been great iraq on the other hand have been pretty good um and i just think for me iraq is gonna have way too much quality i think iraq is gonna have way too much quality for indonesia and i think iraq's gonna blow out indonesia i think iraq's gonna win this comfortably i'm gonna say two nil against indonesia no. next up it is malaysia versus jordan now, this is an interesting one because Malaysia is a really good team. I like this Malaysia team. They're very, they're really good at scoring goals. They also concede a lot of goals, though. Jordan, on the other hand, I've not been impressed. I think Jordan, for me, have been very underwhelming the last couple of um, tournaments. Um, and I and their former coming into has been terrible. That being said, I'm going to I'm gonna actually pick a draw. I'm going to pick a draw here. I was tempted to go with Malaysia to win, but I don't trust Malaysia's defense to keep it solid. And I feel like Jordan, as bad as they are, I still think they have enough quality to get results. So I'm gonna say a draw. I think a draw is a fair result. I think a draw is a fair result, and I think a draw would be decent. Next up is Thailand versus Kyrgyzstan. Guys, I've not been impressed with Thailand. Thailand coming into this tournament have had really bad preparation. They have been awful leading up to the tournament. Their friendlies in particular. Kyrgyzstan, on the other hand, have also um, got a very old team. So, I think for this one, guys, this is another one that could go either way. At this current moment, I'm thinking, I think I'm going to say a draw because I'm kind of un not really sure what to expect. So, because I'm not sure, I'm going to go with a draw. I think a draw is a fair pick. I am, if you were, if you were to ask me which team I would attempt to more win, I would probably favor Kyrgyzstan. I think Kyrgyzstan have a better chance to win than Thailand. But who knows, Thailand might raise their level in the Asian Cup compared to what they did in the friendly. So, I'm going to say, th I'm going to say it's going to be a one nil nil draw. Next up, and this will be a 1-1 one, one draw, in my opinion. Actually, you know what? I'm going to say 2-2. Two, 2-2, two. Two, two, since Malaysia loves to, is a high-scoring team. Next up, it is Saudi Arabia versus Oman. Saudi Arabia, man, I've kind of not really been impressed with Saudi Arabia, to be honest. Under Mancini, they haven't really been as great. And I heard a lot of the players that played in the World Cup aren't even there anymore, which is absolutely insane, uh, which is insane. Um, that being said, they still have the good players. Like Al Dasari is still there. Uh, Al Wasis is still there, I think. And a lot of the you know key players, I imagine, are still there. As for Oman... They're also a good team, but the problem with Oman is that they don't score enough goals. They don't score enough goals, and that's my big issue for them. So I think Saudi Arabia will win this game. I'm going to say they win this game 1-0. I think it'll be a very low-scoring game. Okay, so guys, so some announcements for the channel, guys, in regards to how I'm going to cover the Asian Cup on this channel. So basically, on the channel, we're going to be doing streams after each match day is complete. After each match day is complete, I'll be doing a stream, and then there will be a video reaction. A video reaction after all the games are done for the turn uh, on that day respectively and I'm gonna try to do it in uh, 10 minutes so you get like a good because I think it'll be three Asian Cup games I think it'll be yeah three games so I'll probably do like a good 10 minutes so three minutes for each game and then we'll do a Twitter space I'll probably do a Twitter space an hour later after the videos are out to give you some time maybe 30 minutes after and so we can have some time to break down these games and give you guys your thoughts and of course it will be an hour so you know like I said I hope you guys do enjoy that. And remember, guys, there will also be a link in the description below for you guys to join the football predictor if you guys are interested in that uh, tournament bracket. So if you're interested in that, please let me know. 
Um, anyways, hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys. Please remember to like and subscribe. Consider becoming a member of the channel. Get access to members' videos, members' streams. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out. Everyone, guys, like and subscribe, of course.